from the advertising media capital of the world, New Milford, Connecticut, wherever that is. This is Mostly Automotive Marketing with Matt Wilson, a bi-weekly-ish podcast about all things automotive marketing. Now, here's your host, Matt Wilson. Yes, thank you, big voice guy, Jim McCarthy. Welcome to another episode of Mostly Automotive Marketing with Matt Wilson, presented by Silverback Advertising, online at silverbackadvertising.com. This one is for the job seekers out there. If you are looking for a job, maybe you're, you've lost your job, unfortunately. Maybe you're just looking for a better job. You're looking for your dream job. Why not invent it? Invent your job. I've invented two jobs in my life. Never had job problems, but I've had jobs that I've wanted and had ideas for them, and I invented them. And then I got the place that I wanted to work to create the job and hire me. Let me explain. Maybe you can take this and make this story useful to yourself. I was a kid, like, I don't know, 18, just graduated high school. This is the 1997, eight-ish. And I wanted to work full-time at the radio station that I worked part-time at. I wanted a full-time job. And I noticed that this guy at the station was totally overwhelmed. It was the promotions director at the radio station. In fact, his name was Sticky Mike. I don't know why he was Sticky, but it was Sticky Mike was his name. And he needed help in the promotions department. And the radio station was like, well, we're not going to pay uh, him to have an assistant. We're not going to pay an assistant because this is radio. And we don't want to pay. We just would rather drive you into the ground and overwork you until you die. And I was like, well, that's not fair. Sticky Mike deserves an assistant. And then I heard someone else say, God, we should hire an afternoon guy for our oldie station. Bing! Light bulb went off. Like, well, why don't they hire somebody who does both? The afternoon person on the radio station and the assistant promotions director. That would be a cool job. I could do that. So what did I do? I created a job description, like a little business plan for the job. Here's what the job would entail. Here's what the job, here's what the person would do uh, in that job. And here's why I'm the guy for that job. And you know what I did? They created the job and I got the job. I did afternoons on B105.5. Fun oldies, B105.5. Coming at you hot and heavy. 77 and sunny today. Here is uh, Mrs. Brown, You've Got a Lovely Daughter. Mrs. Brown, You've Got a Lovely Daughter. Remember that song? Is it Mrs. Brown? I think so. And then I was the promotions assistant. So I would help out with the promotions. I would help Sticky Mike with the promotions. That job didn't exist. I had the idea for the job. I presented the idea. They created the job and hired me. Another time that happened in my career, and maybe this story can help you as you're job searching, is I wanted to get out of radio like a lot of people do. I was working for Clear Channel slash iHeart, the evil empire of radio just breaking the souls of radio people across the country. So I'm fiddling with these cards. I don't know why. I'm just down. Um, I wanted to get out before they got me out because they were busy downsizing because they're like $80 billion in debt and they had to eliminate people because you know you could always save your way to profit. So I was like, I got to get out. And then I overheard somebody talking at a radio station about this dealer that I knew, this car dealer, his name was Bruce Bennett. He owned a Nissan store, Bruce Bennett Nissan. And somebody was complaining about his agency. They were like, dude, they were like, man, that agency that that guy has, they're such jerks. And I was like, well, that's weird. Bruce is the nicest guy in the world. Everybody loves Bruce. Everybody loves the Bennett family. Why does he have an agency representing him that is making him look bad? That is giving him a bad name. That is, you know, tarnishing his reputation. So I, you know what I did? I called up Bruce. I knew Bruce through radio. Called him up and said, Bruce, well, you don't need an agency. Those guys are jerks. You should hire me to be your in-house marketing guy. I could do A, B, C, D. And he was like, well, what would that look like? Do you know what I did? I created a job description. I created a little business plan for the job. And I sent it to Bruce. And he said, oh, this is cool, but I can't afford a marketing guy. You know, Here's a couple other dealers you could take it to. And uh, so I sat on that for a while. And a couple years later, it came up again. And you know who Bruce called? That's right, Matt Wilson. 
And then I ended up getting the job. We created the job. The job didn't exist. I proposed it to the dealer, created it, and then it was my job. And it became a really good job. In fact, both those jobs that I created were dream jobs. All I wanted to do since I was a little young boy, little young lad, was be on the radio. And I created a job that got myself on Fun Oldies, B105.5, your 15 in a row oldies station. Here's Crystal Blue Persuasion on B105.5. It takes more skill than it sounds like. Created that job. And then the auto job was a dream job because I could make a living doing it. Make a living, make a living doing it. Working in radio, I was scraping by on, uh, you know, free food and clothes from uh, the dollar store. So I'm like, how can I make a living? Oh, let me go to the, the auto world. Boom, making a living led to all the opportunity that I have now in my current job and the podcast and everything going going very well, going great because I created that job at Bruce Bennett Nissan. So if you're looking for a job, you're having trouble finding a job or that dream job, think outside the box a little bit. I know I hate that term, outside the box. But maybe, maybe there's some opportunity there that you didn't know existed. Maybe you can create some opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Just, just a little idea. Might not work for everybody. But it worked for me, and it worked for me twice in my career, and I ain't that special. So give it a try, all right? That's it. Checking in. Six minutes and 41 seconds. Thanks for listening. We're presented by Silverback Advertising at silverbackadvertising.com. Most of the automotive marketing with Matt Wilson is brought to you by... Wait, this guy has sponsors? Oh, never mind. This sheet of paper's blank. No sponsors. That makes more sense. For updates, info, future episodes, and more, follow on Twitter, subscribe on YouTube, like on Facebook, and connect on Frackle. You guys made that last one up. That's not even a thing.